Hello viewers and welcome to my first race of the new week on Ivy Sing. We are in the Rough Cup at Circuit Spa Fankershamps. We are car number four, qualified P7, pretty big grid, 23 car grid. Let's grid up, see how we get on. We've got some good guys in here and probably some not so good guys, so keeping out of trouble is after battle. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. Not the greatest launch you'll ever see. Car on your left. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Through turn one, without getting killed. One, one achievement. One objective, I should say, secured. Oh, this guy's a bit. Car right. Got the run Stay on him. On Might have a little bit of drift. Oh, someone's got to slow down up the road. Stay on the He's backed out. Clear on the right. Francesco obviously had a slow down. I think he's. Oh, he's still got to slow down, has he? Wants us to serve it as well. Right side. Clear. Good old slowdowns. I hate that system. Bit of contact, I think, up the road. White car and the blue car. <clears throat> Decent enough start, though. Main thing in these races, just get up and running and not get dead. Car number four. I'd like to think we might be able to get a top five here, but... I'll be out with any kind of positive Irene race, race result, I should say. Here comes Francisco. Francisco, even. Not gonna battle him here. I think he's about two cents quicker than me in qualifying, so um He's got quite a decent chunk more Ivy in the meat. Hopefully he doesn't run me over. Car right. Clear. Oh, or oh. left side. Go Anyone right. else? Clear. There we go. Give one away. Or let one go, basically, and um, gain one. Here we got Veal back there. That was, I think that was the guy that's just spun, was it? I'm not too sure. Oh, blocking and, def well, defending going on up the road. Could end in tears. Between Daniel and um, Francesco. Gives us an insight into Daniel's mindset as well. Gaps are starting to kind of feel starting to spread out a bit more now. Good enough start. Gained one spot. Still got real behind us. It's got slightly more over than me, but. Not sufficient that I'm. Respectful of it, if that makes sense. I can, I can get, I can get 2.8. <laughs> That's in my kind of um, 
3.6 from Francisco, that's a bit more um, obscure. Although I have been up to 4k at one point in my iRacing career. 4.2 I think it was, or 4.3. Right, getting I rating is quite easy if you um if you play that game. Kind of comes down to what do you want out of I racing? Do you want just to race? Which is what I do, just race what I want, when I want. Not really worry about the um consequences on I rating or OSR or anything like that. I mean, SR, SR you do, I mean, always, if you're always clean, you're never going to do badly, it's the kind of logic. I mean, you, you, look, you just spectate most races and you'll see if you spectate any race on iRacing you'll probably see that half the field in most races have a moment of some kind whether it's a spin or a crash so um, if you can be that guy that has no moments or one of the guys that has no moments you law of averages you're going to do okay but certainly not badly. I'm settling down now. I seem to be gaining a little bit on Daniel here. I'm not able to get rid of number three behind me. I think we are we are where we are for the race. Battle for top five, basically. I think I probably would normally say in, in this scenario, I'm just going to sit behind him, but I think on this track, Oh, someone coming out of pits. Michael. Try and get his attention and hope he'll let us buy it. Yeah, thank you. Car on your left. Clear on the left. He's slightly offline through Eau Rouge. I think he might have held up um, number three back there equally. Fastest side of the race last lap, half a second quicker than Daniel. Actually got my um, Delta on the wrong setting at the moment. I need to optimal sector rather than optimal lap. You got a out on the wrong. Someone in the wall, I think. So they got together. Bit of salt. And for the time being, a freebie. Go back goes back to my previous comments about being one of those that keeps it clean. Now he may be okay. And That's Francesco, wasn't it? But he's the quick guy who's managed to crash twice, seemingly already in this race. Or at least had two moments. Oh, 
Very, still very early days. I'm sure Francesco will get up here again. We've gapped uh, number three gap back there. Quite a bit. In amongst all that, I don't know if the guy behind came back on the track badly or with the three at the moment. We might have a run here on Daniel down the um, Camel Street. I know it looks like we're a long way back, but the draft down here is something strong. He's slightly damaged, isn't he, on the um, on the right side of his car. Right. Still there. Oh, lost the rear a little bit there. Still there. I think he's going to hold it, but... Oops! As we, say, as we said earlier, we, we knew Daniel was going to be troublesome. Which is fine. Uh, things happen behind... Um, yeah, things have happened behind us, I'm not sure... What? Number three's disappeared, is he? No, it's still about that. Number two's disappeared. So, we've got a nice gap, we're top five, we're pretty happy with life as it stands. Just got to negotiate this 1.3 rated driver, which I don't really trust, if I'm honest. <laughs> Just keep the pressure on him. Make him work for it, make him earn it. Thank you. Well, he's early on the brakes there. Should have a much better run this time. Left side. I don't know if he got out of the way there Clear or. Clear on the left. Almost seem to accept it. Probably didn't, but um, that was how it all almost appeared there. As smooth as it could have been, though, from our perspective. Now I want to just try and get away from him. As much as we had the draft, he'll have it in a few moments' time. That marker coming up. I'm a big fan of this series though. I'm a big fan of kind of fixed series in general. Fixed up series. It's nice to know that it's all about the driver. I think this guy was pretty um to get out of the way, thank you. Nope, you you I'm not sure if you know where I am. You didn't feel my confidence, let's put it that way. We got by though. I think he hindered Daniel about that a bit as well. You're in fourth position. Like I say, it's a, quite a big grid, and I think it's a single split grid. 
So a wide range of driver abilities in this one. Can we catch these two up the road? Thanks. Oh, I screwed that up. Don't give me a slow down. Don't give me a slow Thank you. Got away with that. Take the 1x. We've definitely pulled away from Daniel. Um, draft of it, possibly. We do kind of know one of these guys had contact with some, well, something happened between one of these guys and was it a number two car? Guy's definitely dropped off the seven this lap. Oh, Victor. The 25 last lap as well, not exactly great pace by anyone's um, standards. Five to go, I think. Long way to go. <laughs> One lap round here is a long time, so. We go, oh, another 1x, damn it. Almost into Victor's draft, so um, we should start closing in on him pretty quickly. I think he's um, struggling for pace a bit. He's gone quicker last lap than he did the previous lap, so. Um, Still, oh, I lost the rear there. Too much curb. I need to get on my Delta and um, stop worrying about the car in front of me. Just chase the Delta. Beat the Delta. You beat the cars pretty much automatically. Car four with P4, so he ain't going bad. I mean, kind of held station this lap, or most of this lap. Go on, Victor. Gap stayed the same. If he's upped his pace a bit this lap, we'll see. Or maybe we've just dropped off the pace. What's he done? 22, yeah, he's pretty much matched us. But he's definitely upped his pace a little bit. Over his car, last couple of laps. We still went a bit quicker, but... That's better. 
01X for the first time in two laps. Nice and slow, nice and smooth. Oh, get off the curb. Definitely closing in on him now. You can see he's got rear wing damage actually now. Slight rear wing damage. Number three back there is got by Daniel. He's really slow through there. I didn't go quick, he just went slow. Ooh, hello. Go left. I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. Pretty sure he just thunder through it. No touchy touchy. Where's that lap 10? We'll have a look back at that after the race. Just to um, try and make sure. Sometimes you can um, get a net code, but I don't even think we've got a net I don't even think we we're close enough to have a net code there. Does solve the problem though. And if you end up watching this back, Victor, and I did contact you netcode wise, apologies. But um, yeah. Can only race what I see, feel, feel no contact, saw no contact. I'm just assuming you thunder for it, but. Screwed at that corner. We are on the podium now. Matty not happy. You have about five laps of fuel left. I've got chat on now as well, so he didn't he didn't scream abuse at us, so um can only assume he lost it on his own. Most people let you know when they feel aggrieved. Yeah. Things are happening back there, Daniel dropping backwards a bit. Up to P3.
Just gotta bring this home really now. Fully secure now, P3. Barring things happening up the road. We ain't gonna close in on number seven. Or Dan. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, number three back there having issues, I think. Drop way back. So two to go. Well, for a 46 IV in Hall. Probably a small um, SR gain as well. Just a 2X. coming up, back marker, was P12, he's obviously limping around I think, heard him on the radio a couple of moments ago, so things have gone badly for him, oh, losing the rear there, Exactly what I said though, like we've got through the race without having issues. Everyone behind us pretty much is I don't think Daniel, I think Daniel's kept it clean to my knowledge. I could be I could be wrong, he might have I think he had the damage did he not when we passed him, so we might have had early some early issues, but white flag, one more left to go. Keep your car clean. For the duration of the race, and it does um Reap the walls because others will have moments. Now, oh, come on. Better see if we can do a um. Best night of the race. How's you let me by? Thank you, um, May. Or Matt, even. Sensible. Doesn't want, obviously, you don't want me behind him on this section. And maybe he's not so confident or whatever. Or just doesn't want to hold me up. Uh, 
something in his race. He ain't catching what's in front of him, and whatever's behind him ain't catching him. Uh, Daniel was back up to um, P4 about that. Something's happened to Victor. Just had another moment. Again, Daniel's kept it clean all the race long. Well, from what we've seen, been sensible. Kind of, I'm not going to say allowed him to get himself to get overtaken, but was overtaken a couple of times. Put myself in the number three. Kept it clean though and um, brings home a good Chicken result. Flag. Flag. And we'll take P. Where's this guy? Nice run. Stop work. somewhere. Car four, P3. We'll take that all day long. Have a quick look back at that moment on at the start of lap 10. See exactly what happened if he was in any way guilty. I mean, I. I don't think I can be guilty as such, but um, obviously it might be in the net code between us. This is the moment. Pretty sure we're way behind him. Ah, oh, we did get into him. Ah, damn it. Sorry, Victor. So, yep, we didn't even get contact for that. So we'll drop Victor a quick message to apologise for that. Right, when all said and done, we started P7 and we finished P3. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you have and you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that um, subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.